Kicking off arm curls, we're doing a concentration curl here. And notice you guys, your biceps only have two primary functions. One is to contract, the other is to supinate. So notice how at the top of the movement I'm curling my pinky in. Here you see Steve basically doing an uh, alternate version of the concentration curl. And again, just really focusing on that squeeze and getting a lot of blood through the muscle. Here we are doing a reverse tricep kickback. Uh, this week, you guys, we switched to sets of 15, so we're doing high reps, really concentrating on getting that full range of motion, squeezing through that tricep head. I just finished day 21 of the eight-week shred. I uh, did my weigh-in today. I'm down a pound from last week, um, so I'm actually going to adjust my, my diet just a hair and bring my carbohydrates down a little bit. And then I'm actually going to be talking to you guys a little bit about intermittent fasting this week because I am going to actually go on an intermittent fast diet for about four weeks just to shock my body into doing something different with my diet than what I'm normal, uh, normally used to. So got that. It was an awesome, awesome week. Did arms today. So hit, uh, hit buys and tries and uh, killed the workout. Feeling good. And we are headed into the fourth week of this shred. So it's been um, been pretty awesome. I want to, hey, thank you guys for engaging in the videos and, and asking a lot of questions. And it's been fun to actually uh, engage with you guys. So definitely keep that up. Make sure you continue to subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a thumbs up. Leave some comments. And let me know if there's anything that you guys would like me to touch base on. So take care and have an awesome day. Say bye. Bye. Peace. I need to hear someone say at the end of the day they'll make everything right. When the rest of the world goes wrong. For bits and pieces, again, you guys, we just touch up on things that we want to touch up on uh, towards the end of the week. I'm doing a hammer curl here and actually pronating my wrist at the top of the movement and controlling that negative. This actually engages your forearms and also hits that outer head of your bicep. Here's Steve doing a simple wrist curl, letting that weight completely roll down to the tips of your fingertips and then squeezing all the way up through the forearms. And this is me doing a slight alteration into a bicep curl. This is one of my favorite shoulder and forearm combos. Uh, what you do is you let your wrist relax as you're going through the top of the movement. This takes all the pressure off of your forearm and then at the top of the movement you flare the 10 pound weight up which is going to basically flex into your forearms and really hit your shoulder nicely as well. And again on bits and pieces day I always like to hit calves. It's, it's one thing that I'm really really working on is building up my calves. So I definitely like to hit that as well. Cruising through Vegas, headed to my best friend's wedding. Uh, super, super excited. Ashley and Matt, um, love you guys. I'm really excited to that I'm a part of this with you guys. And yeah, so driving into St. George, Utah, and can't wait to see old friends and family and everything else. So, but in the meanwhile, we're gonna stop in Vegas for a second. So. Uh, the city of sin. <laughs> so my best friend Ashley just got married. Look at this backdrop. It's just really, really beautiful reception. Uh, she doesn't know I'm gonna put this on YouTube, but <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyway. Ashley and Matt, love you guys.
little bit, little bit of a memory. We're in St. George, Utah, and yeah, awesome wedding, and love you both. Super happy for both of you, and yeah, hope to see more of you guys. Day 23 of the eight week shred. Leaning up pretty nicely. Quads are actually coming through pretty well too. So yeah, just giving you guys an update. Did a uh, full uh, chest workout today. Oh, chest was on fire. Um, so yeah, day 23, uh, like I said in the last video, kind of mixing things up a little bit. We're doing some intermittent fasting. Um, the intermittent fast that I'm personally doing, I'm actually doing a uh, eight, 16 spread. So basically what I'm doing is to kind of mix things up with my diet and to kick things into gear for my body, um, just to kind of switch things up for myself so I'm not always doing the same thing. I decided to do intermittent fasting to where I don't eat actually till noon. And then from noon to eight, I have an eight hour window where I get my calories in. Now I'm doing it a little bit differently. I've seen a lot of guys that uh, do the, if it fits your macros, meaning they kind of eat whatever the heck they want, as long as they're within their fat, protein, carbohydrates for the day. Um, me, I personally like to put healthier foods in my body. Um, plus I, I think that it'll give even faster, better results if you're doing it with, uh, with foods that are actually, you know, going to help you lean up. So I'm still sticking within my macros, my percentage for fat, carbohydrates and protein for the day, but within that eight hour window. So typically what I do is I'll wake up, um, I'm going to have branch chain amino acids. Those are actually going to stop your body from burning muscle. Uh, so that's the first thing I have in the morning is basically a heaping scoop of branch chain amino acids with water. Um, I chug that basically two eight ounce glasses of water and then I have two cups of coffee for the day. That's going to basically hold me over while I get my day going um, up until noon when I have my first meal. Now for my first meal you guys, um, before my workout, my workout's typically at about four, four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I'm only eating protein and vegetables up until basically the workout. So like for lunch, I'll have basically like chicken and veggies or some sort of protein and vegetables. And then leading up into the workout, I'll do like a protein shake for my pre-workout. I take my pre-workout drink, go to the gym, I hit my workout and right after the workout, you guys, this is where I get most of my carbohydrates for the day. So that meal right after my workout, I'm basically hitting almost the rest of my calories for the day. Uh, it's, it's heavy carbohydrates, so I'm doing sweet potatoes, rice, um, beans with basically protein as well as veggies. Um, and I'm still sitting basically under 2200 calories and I've brought my carbohydrates down. Um, they were sitting at about 220, um, per, per day, basically 220 grams. I've brought that down to about 200 just to kind of help kick uh, my weight loss in even further. Uh, and that's basically the breakdown for inter intermittent fasting. They do have other intermittent fasting, which is like a 20 hour, four hour split um, and some others. But I just think for um, health reasons and for my, my body personally, I like to do the 16, eight split. Um, and there's actually a lot of information that I'm gonna give you guys on intermittent fasting as well. So with that, that brings day 23 to an end. And I hope you guys enjoyed this week. Again, this is Joshua Zitting of joshuazitting.com. Please subscribe to my channel, you guys. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me some comments, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Take care.